Getting tired of waiting for polling intervals in your Slack automations? There's actually an easy way to make your automations fire instantly the moment something happens. Plus, this same technique will let you connect apps together even if they don't have native integrations in Slack. Hi, I'm Tom from X-Ray Tech, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a Slack automation with a webhook trigger. I'll show you how to set up the automation step by step, and I'll also demonstrate how to pass variables into the webhook to give your automation dynamic data to work with. Let's get started. To begin, open up Slack. You'll need a paid plan at any tier to access automated workflows. You can find automations in the navigation bar on the left, although it may be hidden by default. I'm not sure why though, there's plenty of empty space here. But anyway, you can click more to see all the hidden options, including automations. Here, you'll see a bunch of templates you can use to quickly start building automations, but we'll start from scratch by clicking on new workflow here in the top right. First, you'll need to choose an event that starts the workflow. For us, that will be from a webhook. As it says here, this means your Slack automation will run whenever a request is sent to a custom URL. If you'd like, you can set up variables here to make sure your automation has some dynamic data loaded in from the start. Just click set up variables. Then enter a key or label and a data type for each variable you want to include. For our example today, I'm building a simple automation to send Slack alerts for each new contact in our CRM. So I'll just include some basic info like name, email, and service requested. These will all be text variables. Variables like this aren't strictly necessary. However, if you don't provide any variables, then the only data your trigger will process will be some simple metadata like the timestamp for when the request was sent. You'd need to use search steps to find and retrieve additional information. Once your variables are all set, click continue. Now you can create an automated action that will run whenever the webhook receives a request. Just as an example, I'll make a simple Slack action that sends a custom message to a channel, but you can create any action you'd like in dozens of different apps. I'll send the message to our tutorials channel. Now I'll compose a quick message about the new contact, including the other variables we set up like name and email. Once your action is configured, click Finish Up to publish the automation. You can give your workflow a name and description. Then click Publish. Now it will run whenever you send a request to the webhook URL. Unfortunately, there are no built-in testing features in Slack's workflow portal, which is a bummer, but we can still just give it a live test. To make your automation run, you'll need to send a request to the webhook URL. You can send a request like this from any number of different apps, Zapier, Make, Postman, or anything else that lets you write some custom JSON. For this tutorial, I'm gonna use Airtable. If you're not familiar, Airtable's a low-code database app. We frequently use it at X-Ray to build custom apps and automated workflows. We're a certified gold services partner at Airtable, so you can reach out to us for expert support with Airtable implementation or building new custom features. In my Airtable base, I've got a few tables with the data I wanna feed into the automation. It's just a sort of simplified CRM with some basic info about each contact. Under this automations tab, I've created another automation that runs whenever we've got a new contact. The most important step here is the custom script. The exact syntax and options will be slightly different based on the app you use, but the actual request will largely consist of the same components, whether it's in Airtable, Zapier, Make, or any other software. You'll need the webhook URL, the request method, a header, and a body with any extra info you wanna pass along. The webhook URL is easy to find. Just open up your Slack automation and edit the trigger. You can copy the URL here and paste it into your request. The request method will be post. In the header, you'll need to specify that the content type is JSON. And in the body, you can provide data for all the variables that you listed in Slack using JSON formatting. If you're using Airtable, I've added a template for this custom script to the video's resources board linked in the description. Just make sure to create input variables in Airtable to match all your Slack variables. Once your request is configured, give it a test. Airtable makes that easy with this test button right here. We can see a console message in Airtable confirming the script ran. And instantly in Slack, there's a new message sent to the correct channel with all of our variables included. Awesome. This webhook triggered automation is all set. 
With webhook triggers, you can get real-time responsiveness in your Slack automations and integrate with apps that Slack doesn't have native support for. It just takes a little configuration in Slack and a few lines of JSON. And if you're not experienced with code, you can always ask AI for support or reach out to our team at X-Ray. If this video helped you out, like and subscribe to the channel for more AI and automation updates every single week. You can also find me and my company X-Ray by searching for X-Ray Automation on nearly every social media platform. For now, I've got to go. So until next time, find your focus and stay in flow.